Well, let me throw another one out to kind of see your reaction and kind of flesh out this notion of the importance of the solar west if we want. Um, maybe what we have here too is not just all the things that you mentioned with regard to the political economy and kind of influence uh, slavery, but maybe we also need to see it as a reminder that while 100,000 US soldiers are slugging it out with 65,000 Confederates in, in the wilderness or on the grounds of Shiloh, for the rest of the country, the world is still going on that we didn't put a we didn't push a pause button in the West and kind of wait four years and then restart. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it should be mentioned that there are more than just Confederates uh, and Federals in the Southwest are more than just mm -hmm. Confederate sympathizers and Union sympathizers. I mean, the, the key population here is the indigenous population and the multiple native polities that really held the balance of power in the region for most of its history. And that balance of power, like I say, shifts in fundamental ways during the war itself. Um, but their objectives didn't align with either the North or the South. Um, they had their own vision for how this region should look. Um, and they used the war ultimately as, a, uh, as an opportunity to exert a little more sovereignty in the region. Ultimately, they failed. Um, and they failed for a whole set of complicated reasons that I think historians like Meg and Kate Nelson are really good at unpacking and understanding. 